One of the major things I'm working on for the Enhanced Department is coordinating um, superconducting cavity tests out at um, Maison, our test facility. There's a lot going on and it's hard for everyone to be up on what everybody's doing. You know, it's up to me to decide how all this will intermingle and intermix so that it all comes together and the person who's actually running the test on the superconducting cavity can just sit down at a computer and bring up a screen and do whatever they need to do unbeknownst to them what all goes on in the background to make all that work. I work as an RF engineer in the low-level RF group and I'm part of the accelerator division. Our role is to control the fields, the electromagnetic fields and mostly the RF power going into the cavities. When designing uh, new accelerators there are a lot of uh, technical decisions that have to be made. Some days will be uh, hardware development, some days will be software development, some days will be simulation and uh, some other days will be really hands-on work. We as a department are working on the research and development of uh, superconducting RF cavities and cryomodules uh, for future accelerators at the lab. Project X is the name of a future accelerator that could be built here at Fermilab. The superconducting RF cavities and the cryomodules that we are developing uh, right now and in, in our department would be used in, in Project X. I'm a mechanical engineer and fluids group leader here at the laboratory. They provide up to 1,500 gallons a minute in parallel with the other service buildings for a total of 8,000 gallons per minute into the main injector tunnel. It's two miles around the circumference and it requires hundreds of hose assemblies. We distribute the water from the main header to these different magnets to make sure that it, to maintain uh, the, the cooling that, that they need. You really have to get your hands dirty, so to speak. Uh, and Framilab gives you that opportunity to do that. You know, I'm not bound to just doing one aspect of engineering. That I'm not doing every day the same thing, that I get to see all phases of the project. All along, I've had a lot of colleagues who have mentored me, um, and that's um, just helped me grow as an engineer. Giving me the opportunities to expand my skill sets, you know, in ways that I feel interested in. You learn the most when you're exposed to something that you aren't very familiar with or that you haven't um, seen before. What I enjoy about working at Fermilab is uh, the diversity, the diversity of the people that I meet, that I get to work with, the diversity of the tasks uh, that I get to work on, and uh, the quality of the work environment.